hey, hey, do you know in history when people say they're just doing their jobs, they still were convicted of war crimes. I'm not saying that this is a war crime, but it's along that slippery slope. This guy confronts private company officials who are allegedly scamming people in Manchester city centre. Would you like some free legal advice? Ask them if that's a private profit-making company. Ask them that. No, you, did you say you work with? Oh, so you're not Manchester City Council. Wait, hold on. So that company is private profit-making on Company's House. Yeah. Having spoken to loads of police and lawyers, there's a massive conflict of interest. Yeah. You cannot have profit-making trying to do law enforcement. If you choose to walk away, yeah. hand on my heart, nothing's going to happen to you. No, no, it's a criminal offence if a judge says that you intended to litter. Yeah. If you pick it up and put it in the bin, okay. it's gone. It it's gone. And also, just so you guys know, they don't have any powers like police. They have as much power as I do. They go up to people that have littered to give them big fines. There's no way you guys can justify 120 quid. Mate, you're free to go. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys are robbing people. It's a scam company. 3GS is a scam company. He says you target immigrants and those who are vulnerable like old people and women. Your job is to make sure that the place is clean. You're robbing from people. You're tricking them using a sales tactic. It's a, Let me just go into widescreen so I can get both of you in. There we go. What? It's a scam. Get your boss to contact me. Take me to court. If, if what I'm doing is illegal, stopping you guys robbing people, take me to court. How much money have I lost 3GS? Hopefully a couple of quid. He proves that they have no jurisdiction and are lining their own pockets. Hey, hey, do you know in history when people say they're just doing their jobs, they still were convicted of war crimes. I'm not saying that this is a war crime, but it's along that slippery slope robbing people 120 quid for a cigarette butt. The man even challenges them to call the police and they back off. Thank you, thank you. Biggest scam in Manchester. How dare you guys? The tourists, they target the tourists. And you target foreigners, you target women. And vulnerable poor people. What would you do if these people confronted you and tried to find you? There is definitely something going on here. How do people get away with things like this? Did you know the most littered item in the UK is fast food packaging? Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and follow for more videos like this.